Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld. Last episode we were attacked by some mechanoids and Elliot, well he got a shattered tibia out of it. Um, his left leg is quite injured still as well, but he is on the mend at the moment, he is healing. Uh, and he should be probably by tomorrow morning. All in all, the colony is still coming together very well. We don't have a prisoner any longer. We managed to make use of, uh, well, them. Um, and I still need to put some lights into our main corridor in and around the place. And yeah, I'm not certain. Like these ceiling lamps, I just don't, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't 100% like the look of them. They're okay, and I think it's all right because they're centered, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not super sold on them. That's why I think I like the chandeliers, because uh, they just work pretty well most of the time. And saying that, the chandeliers do take a lot more steel. Hmm. What to do, what to do. We don't exactly want to have just standing lamps as well. Although in saying that, in this scenario, they wouldn't actually be that bad. So I think that they're going to be okay there. And I think we might do a similar kind of setup over here just by having them on either side of the door. Yeah. I think that works. I think that's okay. Ah, uh, damn it, we didn't cancel that one. Uh, looking at them, the light that comes out. Oh. <laughs> yes. Exotic goods again. They know. They know what we've got. And they are coming because of it. They are coming for our exotic goods. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any smoke leaf for them yet, but we certainly have some organs. This time, I'm going to be very careful with how the trading process goes. Yeah. Um, actually, looking at these, they, they put out an okay amount of light. I don't know if it's enough. Uh, we would probably have to put one on either side. And you know what? In saying that, they only use five steel, don't they? So it's, what, ten steel to do both sides like this? It's not that bad. And I kind of like the look of them. That's why I wanted to do them in the first place. So maybe we would be okay with doing this. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's actually just cancel the deconstruction of that for now and uh, look at throwing a few more in amongst the mix here. And then what we're doing, four squares apart. So that would make it just on the side of the door here. Although that doesn't marry up quite right does it? I've only done three squares between those. And then I've done four squares between the next one. No, so I think these ones are meant to be here. So we'll go ahead and cancel the others. Cancel those. And let me see. Cancelling that and that. And going ahead and building those just right there. And I think that's enough for now through here. We will need some down here as well. Um, you know what? Let's just do it now. Let's do it now so it's done. Uh, we won't really need them down here so much, but we'll have them, because why the hell not? And I think we'll just have the one there for now, because we don't need a huge amount of light on that side. Uh, similar kind of scenario over here, just having that one there. Um, we don't need this area here to be super well lit, but we'll put one on either side just like that. And uh, we'll essentially do the, a similar kind of thing on this side. Um, although there should be a wall there. So we'll have to look at uh, constructing one there just to have it kind of match up properly. So we'll just go and allow a slate wall to be built there eventually. We'll see how that goes, but uh, we, yeah, we do have a caravan making their way over to us now, which I'm very, very happy to see them. Northwestern St Stulistia, and I believe that's the same group that came by before, and the fact that they're sending an exotic goods caravan makes me think that they really are on board with what we are doing, so yeah. Now Wildfire, I was hoping we would get to go ahead and prioritize modifying cipher yeah there we go because we do actually want these blades before we trade with them because uh they are going to be useful oh that's yeah that's gonna hit them in the moods it also does affect them doesn't it yeah um let's go ahead and prioritize modifying that cipher we're seeing a lot of dead bodies around there 
Elliot the Murderer is fully healed. Fantastic. Well, Elliot the Murderer, if you can go ahead and haul that back inside, that would be fantastic. Let's turn that bed back to normal as well. Um, and we'll prioritize that that gets hauled because we don't want bedpans kicking around in here. Um, we also need those organs to be hauled as well, so I might just end up getting the others up and running. So let's just go select similar. Uh, actually, hmm, that won't work. So we're just going to have to go haul urgently on them. Uh, under our orders. I'll just pause everything for now, just so that we can actually make sure that we get these hauled. Alright. Let's see. Uh, you won't haul, will you? But Spectra, you will. So, if I could get you to haul those for me right now, that would be fantastic. And I think if we can just get them into a stockpile, that will work for us. Um, Although I'm not 100% on that, don't quote me just yet. How is it going wildfire? Looks like you did get that done, so let's go ahead and prioritize the hauling of that blade. Um, we will shut them down eventually. Let's go add a bill, shut down, uh, but it's not a priority right now. We could also do finish off, but I think shutting down just for now will be fine. Then we will move their corpses inside because we can still make use of those as well. And I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, it is Elliot so that we have had uh, talking to everyone so far. Um, but we will also, yeah, we still need those to be hauled. And I really don't want them to go missing. So everyone, if you can, it would be fantastic if we can get the rest of these done. You can wash when you're dead. Well, you can't, but well, we need you to do this for us for now anyway. Haul that heart. And then just the one last thing we need to get inside. Come on, Elliot, you're so close. Pull that heart. No, you've got one. Okay, Levin. You are the person that we're after. Pull that nose. And then, please don't leave. We're very nearly done. Minor break risk. Not sure who it is. Right now, we can't worry. But uh, we do need to go and chat to Levin over here. Here we go. Okay, all right. So we can get trading. Uh, so this is what we've got. They obviously have a limited amount. Um, we actually have still a decent amount of silver, even though we went and spent a fair amount of it. Uh, so let's see. Mm, what do we want to trade to you? We can trade two ears. That's going to get us 400. Jaw. Nose. Kidney. No, not kidney. But uh, we, we can get up there at the very least. There is a chance, like this for example, um, the prosthetics. See, the scythe of blades that we just got there, and each of those are 700 each. A synthetic stomach. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Rim colony. That's quite cool. It is a, it's a game. That's awesome. Uh, there isn't anything else in here too crazy good that we'd want to get. Um, what do you have in the way of components, etc.? They do have medicine as well. We could buy a whole heap of their medicine. Uh, that would actually cost us quite a lot to be able to do that, so we probably won't do that. Hmm. We could buy... No, that's us. Right. There's nothing we can buy there. Hmm. Chinchillas. Snow hairs. Blank books. Ready for writing. I mean, the components alone, I think we will take. Uh, there's only seven, so that's not so bad. That's definitely us buying. Yes, correct, it is. 100%, okay. Plasteel, we don't need it right now, so I'm not so, yeah, not so set on that. A Psychic Soother, okay. And the AI Persona Core is worth a lot. Uh, yeah, a very, very large amount. The synthetic stomach is worth a lot as well. Nothing that we need right now. I'm tempted to get the prosthetic leg though, because Elliot just has had his leg injured. So that could be something that we need. And we have enough to kind of really trade for it. So I think we're going to look at doing that. Let's go ahead and put the heart and the lung into the mix. And it's actually, yeah, we're still over. Uh, okay, so let's use the kidney instead. So we still have a lung and we still have the scyther blades left over. We could trade for a whole heap of gold and gold is useful. We want to make things out of gold uh, eventually. Um, is it worth us trading for it now? And if so, how much are we going to get for it? It's 15 each and they've got quite a lot of it with them. Hmm. 
No, we can mine our own for now. Um, we, I think we'll explore before we start uh, buying gold from others. Is there anything else here that we'd want? The telescope is... Yeah, it's interesting. The tube television as well could be good. It is worth a decent amount. We don't have the research at the moment to actually work on those. I don't think there is anything else here interesting that we really want to go for. Yeah. I think we'll leave it at that for now. So, that is going to work out with us getting more gold out of this trade. And a simple prosthetic leg to boot. Oh, it's simple. Yeah. No, actually, on, on second thought, I'm glad I noticed that now. It is just a simple, it's not, it's not like a bionic at all. So, I think we are just going to have to hold on to a few of our goods. Uh, let's see, which ones do we want to try and hold on to? If we just take the nose back, I think that's going to work out for us. So, we'll go ahead and accept that trade. There really isn't anything else that we really want right now. Psychic Insanity Lance sounds interesting. It drives a character into a berserk state from any distance. Uh, sounds like it would be useful to use in a raid, especially if someone had grenades or something like that. Um, is it worth 700 though? We could trade a lung for it, right? Could be, could be worth us having. It's a one-use artifact. No, I think we're going to hold on for now. We're just going to play it safe, but we are going to accept that. There's no other resources. No. We'll accept the trade. Thank you very much. Not bad. So we made some silver out of that at the very least. So, yeah. And we shifted some of our organs so it, it got the job done it got it done um now i do want to try and look at putting down our our production area which is uh, going to take a little bit of work to actually get up and running it's going to be a lot of mining uh but i'm going to try and do it in stages i think will be the easiest way to do it um so i'm just gonna have a look at chucking it down now at least part of it so we're going to want the corridor to continue on like so because the corridor is essentially going to run adjacent to it and we don't need the corridor to actually run that far just now but uh that's going to be the basics of our room uh it is going to extend back a lot further than this but this is essentially all that we need for the time being uh and i believe i want to have one of the entrances just on either side like that so we'll just work our way up to that point on both sides there. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for this. We shouldn't need anything in there right now to hold up any space, but uh, it's going to take a little while for Mr. Seabass to uh, go and mine all this out. And I think we are going to have Spectra helping him out every now and then. I think we need to get that research table down, but that's kind of going to be in this area as well. So yeah. I'm just, I'm wondering whether if I just get something down for the time being and then kind of move on. Uh, we are getting desperately low, <laughs> desperately low on meals. Uh, I didn't actually realize how low we were getting. So I, yeah, we should do something about that. We are going to need to go out hunting again. It is summer, so there should be more creatures and critters about. There is certainly a, more than enough um, of these raspberry bushes. So let's just go select similar. And uh, we'll go and harvest all of those. That's a lot of harvesting. Uh, maybe too much harvesting? I'm not sure yet. It does seem like a lot, though. We're going to go ahead and mark that turkey for hunting. And uh, any other larger creatures that we can see that are roaming out here. That means that Elliot will be going out with his rifle. He'll be making use of that. Um, same thing with the heel roots. Let's go ahead and just do select similar. And we'll just run right across the map here. And we're going to go harvest. So we'll harvest all of the heel root that we can similar thing down here wow there's a lot of it holy crap okay well we're going to be very busy doing that it would seem and uh yeah there's a whole muffalo herd here so i think we should be able to um no we don't want to go we just want to do hunting that's what we're wanting to do but it's also uh the hotkey for that so <laughs> let's just use orders instead for now because that's going to be a little easier and we'll just essentially mark the entire herd for uh hunting so i think we're going to be okay for food with the amount of berries, uh, the amount of uh, muffalo nearby, we'll be able to make use of those. What I need to make sure what doesn't happen is that we just leave stuff out there to deteriorate. That's uh, not what we want to happen. Like these things here, for example, they could be hauled in. Uh, they just aren't being hauled in right now. We have a lot of gear that's just kind of kicking about here that isn't really being taken care of. Um, these scythers included. 
I think we should be making use of them. So, let's see. Who do I want to send out there to do that? You are going... Well, you, you're going all the way out there to go and get these berries, huh? Yeah. I guess... What I'll, what I'll just wait for... What I'm going to wait to happen now... Let's just wait until they're all harvested, and then I'm going to go and just select them and, and mark them all for urgent hauling. We are going all the way up here for steel, are we? Oh, that's from uh, the chunk of spacecraft that must have dropped down a while back. Yeah. We are going to have to mark some more steel for mining, but uh, I'm going to wait until this is all mined out first before we look at doing that. And I believe it was us that could actually sell the plasteel um, before when I was looking at that. Maybe I'm incorrect, but uh, I think that was the case. Elliot, I don't know if you... No, I don't think you actually did manage to get any hunting done there, so... I mean, good attempt, I suppose. You tried to help out. Just some components, okay. Well, there definitely are more components out there. Uh... Are they deteriorating though, is my question. Because if they are, yeah, oh geez, they're almost completely gone. Okay, that was a mistake on my behalf. Let's get them back inside. That'd be nice. And, you know what, we don't actually need this light to be turned on anymore, do we? So, I'll try and track down exactly where it is. Uh, it seems to be hard to actually find this one. Oh, it's facing over there. Okay, let's go ahead and designate that to be turned off. We don't need that to be on anymore. Okay, yeah. Oh, you're going to be hauling the components. Thank you. Spectra, yeah, you got a bit of walking to do, don't you? And we're leaving those out there for the time being. I'm not so concerned about them. We are going to go back for them, the uh, scythes, that is, because uh, we can still make use of them. I'm going to actually allow them to be stored in here for now as well, just so that we actually have them inside. Wildfire, uh, while I love what you're doing there, yeah, you know what, I'm going to let you do that first. Okay, how about you come over here and modify the Scyther, and we'll do the same to the other. Putting them down, same over there, and hopefully she will just be able to haul them back down. So, that Scyther there, let's go... Cannot bury, prioritize, mm, I just want to haul it. Can you haul that one? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, you're hauling them to here. Because I've got mechanoid corpses allowed here. Okay. My bad. That's why we couldn't haul the other one. Alright, go and take it inside. Actually, in saying that, it wouldn't deteriorate out there. Oh, that psychic drone is in here. I actually completely forgot about it. Um, it hasn't actually been an issue for us, so... Yay, that's good. Um, we don't need to make this much of a priority. This um, hopper. So, I'll see what happens there, actually. I'll see what happens. Alright, Elliot, what are you off to? Hunting Muffalo. Yeah, he's probably going to be doing that for a decent while now. Mr. Seabass will be making food when he can, but he's going to be chipping away working at cloud watching for now. Because, why not? It, it works. Um, the smoke leaf is on its way. 38%, 29%, and 45% on our potatoes. So, they are getting done. And yes, I agree, gang. We are low on food. Makes you agree on something for once. Alright, um, let's look at getting some of these blocks in place here so we can kind of get these rooms semi up and running. So I'm going to be looking at more floors and it's hex? No, it's not hex, it is random paving marble that we're using for our bedrooms. Like so. And I believe we're using the marble slab at the front and why not just for good measure let's go ahead and put a door in yeah that'll work that will work um we do need a dedicated medical space this is going to be a bit of both in a weird way it's both going to be a space for prisoners and it's going to be a medical space as well so we're going to turn it into a medical space for the time being just because it's not being used by prisoners so yeah it's going to be dual purpose for now that's the idea at least Elliot is heading back out. He hasn't actually got anything yet. He didn't come back with a muffalo before, but it looks like he has been attempting to do work. <laughs> that raccoon can get brought back, so Mr. Seabass will probably go up and grab him at some point. Spectra has been harvesting like a madman, which means that there are probably a very large amount of berries out here that need to be hauled back urgently. 115 berries. Fantastic. Good work, my friend. 
And let's have a look. Where are you currently? Because you are probably harvesting all of the heal root. And the heal root needs to be brought back as well. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see any of it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a whole heap. Whole urgently. Okay. So Spectra is probably going to be doing that first. Okay, there's no other heal root out here at this time. That's good. Elliot always seems to be in a pretty good mood. Out of most people. I mean, he's, he's happy because of the uh, human level of Parker. Definitely. Decent bedroom. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that works and doesn't work at the same time. Like, yeah, it's not the best place. Uh, because it looks like, for the most part, we still like to use that to travel through. And I really don't know why. I don't know why we don't just go around. Because it's not a nice place. There are a lot of dead bodies there. You know what we probably could do? Is just mine this section out here and just put doors in. And I think that's what we're going to do. That should encourage them to do that instead. Wow, you really gave up fast there, Elliot. And you're going to go and eat uh, by the massive bodies again. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Looks like they're, pro they're, they're going to be focusing on that for now. I'm just going to let Mr. Seabass get around the corner. And then I'm actually just going to force him to mine out this little area here because uh, he's going to be able to do that pretty quickly. Thank you very much. Excellent. So we should start using that more than the uh, other spaces. And uh, we really should build it out of blocks. What do we have at the moment? We've got 27 marble blocks, which isn't a lot. Let's see, Mr. Seabass, are you still going to go up that way? No. Thank you. Okay, but they get a little close though, so maybe I do need to uh, de delete just a little bit of the zone. So if we just kind of back it up a little bit, you know, just back it up into the shadows so that it's not so obvious. Uh, similar kind of thing, just like that. Yeah. I think it'll be a little bit, a bit better. That means that the trading, trading caravans that come through here, although in saying that, they probably still will get exposed because I think they like to try and cross down like that. Although, no, actually, they'll just be able to go through the doors. So that should work out for us. I should have done this sooner, actually. Who is it that's close to breaking? Wildfire is still wearing bad apparel. Yes, because I've been neglecting apparel. And I will continue ne to neglect it uh, while we're still constructing our base. Uh, we do need to do something about it though, and it really wouldn't take her that long. It will take a little while though, and I do want these things to be hauled in first, so I guess we're just going to keep on doing that. It is really inefficient the way that we are hauling things though. We should just be able to grab everything that's in this area and move it. So I think if I can just go already hauling berries, let's just go prioritize hauling, and then she should actually be able to haul a decent number around here. I think the problem is more with... Um, the whole urgently it's not um yeah it's it's just looking at an individual item going oh that needs to be hauled straight away so yeah i don't know maybe i need to try and do it differently or just use like a general haul on them there is more than enough there for uh old mr seabass to get to work with so we should have some more meals coming in tomorrow we've got that first cypher in here we still want to get the other one in here but, uh, yeah, I think she's going to be focusing on these bits for now. Uh, I don't think there were any other berries out here. Just uh, all of the heal roots. Herbal medicine that we actually want to get back inside. So let's go and focus on our little home again. Elliot is going to go and eat in Spectra's room. At least there's always a, you know, a table and chair close by for them to go and eat. I just wish they would eat at their own bedrooms. Because, like, Elliot's bedroom is just there. But uh, I guess they, they do what they're going to do. All right, Elliot. Best of luck to you. Hope it goes well. Uh, there's some of that herbal medicine. No, so that comes back. Hopefully he actually does a little bit of hunting this time. There we go. Nice. Perfect. That's all you need to do, buddy. All you need to do. We're going to get a lot of leather from this as well. So we should be able to make a, you know, a decent number of items this way as well. Okay, Spectra is going to be doing that for a really decent while. Mr. Seabass is just going to be cooking up a storm as he does. Fantastic. Getting that done first. Turkey, bam. Excellent. And then there's the muffalo. Perfect. A little bit of cloud watching. Lovely. Very nice. Uh, is that just... So you're just bringing one thing of herbal medicine back each time. Yeah. Not exactly efficient. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? I like the silver. I will gladly have it. 
Uh, things are getting a little bit more messy around here, and that's because Spectra is just doing this whole option, um, and he will be doing this for a little while, so yeah, things are going to get a little messy, but um, not not too messy, I think. And you're still doing that. Yeah, he's going to be doing that for a decent while. Um, we can probably look at making a freezer in here to store some of our medicine, just so it's close at hand. Uh, as to where in the room we want to have it, I think having like one on either side like that could be nice. So let's just have a look at just building a smaller freezer for now. So, uh, single refrigerator, and we'll go ahead and place that. I'm trying to look to see where the kind of handle is, and it looks like that's the handle there. So, let's just go build that for now. Uh, we don't have enough steel though, no surprises there. So, we probably should look at getting some of this mined out. So, we'll just back in a little bit like that, see what happens, see what we can get. Just having a look around the outside here just to see if there are any other kind of uh, larger deposits of it. Um, yeah, there are some. I guess that's the good thing about the rivers, is that they do cut straight through some of these mountains and they reveal these deposits of uh, steel and other goodies. Yeah, we've got a decent amount over here as well that we can work at. It is just a little bit further away, so it's not, not ideal. Oh, Elliot, bringing in the good stuff. Thank you, my friend. And I'm imagining we're going to be able to shift some of that um, into there when the next um, butchering happens. I want to get rid of all this stuff. I want to get it into here, but uh, we won't be able to do that until everything outside has been uh, kind of finished hauling. Okay. And uh, Wildfire is very busy doing that as well, I think, because she is another hauler of ours, so she is going to be definitely busy working away on that. Good time for Mr. Seabass. Oh nice, we're actually getting those down. Thank you Wildfire, fantastic. Now, what am I going to want to do through here? I think it's probably just the uh, blocks. I'm going to put them down for now, just so that they're actually planned out at least. So we're just going to do the slate right across like that, and I believe we'll want it to go something like that. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go like that for now. I, I think it might look a little strange, but I think uh, I think it'll work out for us. Yeah, and we want to do the essentially the same kind of pattern on the other side, uh, the best that we can. Although I'm not sure exactly how good I'm going to be able to do that, or how good I'm going to be able to mirror that. I will do my best. Let's see. Um, oh dear. How did I do it again? Like that? I don't think I did it like that, but I think that that would kind of work. So I should do it like that on that side. So I'll look at doing it like that then. That will be easier. So jumping in again. Slabs. Okay. All the way across down there. And let's see. I would want to do it there, yes, I believe so. Two across from the door. Okay. How is that different? Ah, I see. Leaving that one open. No, it's not. Hmm. I definitely have done this differently on this side. Oh yes, okay, I see it now. That makes sense. Okay, and now we just do that through the center. <coughs> Pardon me, I was losing my voice there. Okay, and just straight across. And we just go into the two doors there, don't we? Yeah, we do. But we'll just go across like that for now. Uh, was I doing mosaic there? No, it's hex, right? Hex is correct. That's what we're after. Although, we're probably going to be completely out. The wildfire, are you completed? Oh no, okay, right, you're doing some construction work, that's good, I approve. We'll let you do some work on that. Where's this other wood? Oh, we're building those wood doors, fantastic. Those are the really important ones, so I'm actually glad that we've, uh, we've done that. Oh, there was some more harvesting to be done. Nice. Yeah, I'm not actually surprised. 
yeah, there's a lot there to be harvested still. <laughs> well, thank you, Wildfire, for doing that for us. Because uh, she is pretty quick at harvesting. And I think once it looks like she's finished up, I'm going to ask that she uh, hauls everything back. Oh, there we go. So let's just go over to this lot of uh, raspberries because she should be able to grab a whole heap around here. Just like that. Perfect. Be great if they did actually pick some up along the way as well. Almost perfect. Oh, wow, we only need one wood. Damn. Well, let's look at um, harvesting some wood while we're here, because uh, we always need more of it, and we never have enough. So we'll go ahead and chop down those trees on our side. We'll probably chop down them on the other side as well. Uh, speaking of that heel root, let's just have a quick little double click, um, or select similar, and just kind of uh, go across. Okay, we did get another one there. Just trying to see if there is any around here that we haven't hauled yet, so... We just want to select all of them that we can. There's a bear out there. And we'll just haul urgently. Done. Okay. Well, we're getting close to the time, but uh, we are just going to continue on for a little bit longer today because I want to see if I can get a little bit more done this week in RimWorld. We have got a lot more done, but um, yeah, I feel like we could end up doing a little bit more just to get the colony in a little bit of a better place going in towards uh, going into the next week. Vin is pretty happy by all accounts he seems to just like popping in there and uh, getting something to eat from the freezer right away once spectra is done with his hauling it is going to be helpful for him to uh get some of this all cleaned up but uh i think it's going to be him probably that ends up mining out this little area here and getting us some more steel so that uh, some of the other projects we have can get up and running we have a lot of lights that need to get put in among other things and having some uh medicine refrigerated in here will make those operations a little easier in the future we are going to have quite a few muffalo i'm surprised they haven't moved on yet and oh, wow holy crap even more have arrived yeah it's like a party okay all right i'll uh i'll take it um actually in saying this there there is still a, a decent amount of uh heroes out here that hasn't actually been harvested so that will probably get pulled in as well be interested to see oh elliot you are moving really slowly aren't you or is it just because you're on that right now no he is actually just moving really slowly and that's because of his uh left tibia we need to get you a bionic leg my friend we most certainly do hmm all right i think we need to look at um planning out putting down our orbital trade beacon yeah okay now i need to try and track down the sucker there we go orbital trade beacon we've got a face styling bench over there as well i'm thinking we would probably want to have it on this side here we'll see if we can kind of roof this area up a little bit but um i think that's probably where we were where we are going to want to have it uh it shouldn't be too far for us to haul goods to and um we should be able to store things there pretty easily so that's where we're gonna go with um i'm just thinking long term though about potentially having animals coming and causing trouble there if we can kind of fence the area off i think we'll be fine and i think we'll probably have to eventually but uh for the time being i think that's okay uh i do want to create a stockpile around there so let's just jump in and have a look at stockpiles can i do this while this is selected okay i very nearly can so the, I think the easiest way for me to do this is just going to be to go like this. Uh, is it going to be intersecting? Okay, good. Okay, that actually makes sense. That works. Okay, and let's just go do these last little bits here. So it'll be like that, and then just like that. Okay, so that's our stockpile, our main stockpile. We'll go ahead and rename that, and that'll be for our beacon. We are going to want this area to be roofed as well though, so I'm going to have to look at uh, creating some kind of structure there. Probably just using, uh, I just want to use wood, but we don't actually have any wood right now, so we're going to have to wait for it to be chopped down before we can. And good old wildfire is going to be able to do that for us. There we go, wood. Okay, so let's see. We'll just put them on the, on the outside for now. That should be fine. And I've put each of them in a bloody different place, haven't I? Yeah, I have. There we go. That works a little better. 
and that should be fine for us to be able to build a roof over that. All right. Oh, fire. Okay. Mm, great. Where? Oh, right. Right near the uh, the wood. Perfect. Can we can we get on that spectra? Thank you. All right. Everyone's everyone's getting involved. Okay. Well, we lost our power unfortunately, but uh, not the end of the world. We actually end up being okay, thankfully. God damn. Thank you very much. Uh, we do need this to be reconnected, otherwise our freezer is going to start heating up. So if we could... Oh, really, we don't have any materials? You're kidding me. We just need a tiny bit of steel. We don't have enough steel to make that? Uh, this is why having a good stockpile of steel is important. Um, and we are definitely going to need that to repair it. And you know what, guys and gals, with that little disaster, I think this is probably going to be a good point for me to leave today's episode at. Um, we are going to need to get that fixed ASAP, otherwise everything is going to start thawing out, and that's the last thing that we want. I think getting this trade beacon up and running is going to give us the ability to just start getting things moving along a little, a little bit faster. We're going to be able to gain resources quicker. We're going to get, we're going to be able to get food faster as well because um, we aren't going to be growing too much food, as I've said before. We are primarily going to be growing these things, although right now we can't grow them too fast out here. We are going to be swapping over to hydroponics inside the base, so we're going to have to improve our power situation outside. Really, with four people at the moment, I feel like we're doing okay. It would be it would be good to have a few more in here, but right now we are staying alive and that's the main thing. I hope you'll join me in the next one. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.